The purpose of this video is to review how you will be able to use Odoo to better control your invoicing of tasks that are marked as complete. So the first thing we're going to want to look at here is when I go to create an order and click sales, and this is where you'll go when your customer sends you a purchase order request, you will create the quote for them here. We'll select our customer. We'll select our put in our customer PO number that they give us, right? And this can be PO, you know, it can be whatever you want it to be uh, in terms of characters or numerical values. Give it an expiration date. Our payment terms would automatically come from our contact as well. I would set the default payment terms here, net 30. And then here you'll add your product. We'll just put a task completion product. You'll see there's a little field here called task complete. This here is going to actually measure whether or not this task is complete based on the task it comes from. And you'll see once I confirm this sale order, it generates the task up here. Now, in order to better display the real time effect that that is taking place here, let's go over here and let's go to project and you'll see this is sale order nine. It'll be task. And when I open this up, you'll see the task is sale order number nine here. And there's that PO number I put in. It automatically moves from the order at the time of order entry to the task. And you'll see I'll be able to define or mark this task as complete right here. And once it's marked as complete here, if I go back to the set order up here. And if I just give a little refresh, you'll see it is marked as complete here. Now, what happens when it's marked as complete there is your accounting team, they are going to pretty much live here. They want to be able to know what's ready to invoice. And you'll see here, set order nine is part of that list. Why? Because it's marked as ready to go. If I go back to set order nine and I uncheck this, and if I go back here and refresh the list, set order nine is not on the list. However, if I go here and check the list, check it, I go back here, it's on the list. So here is where your team will go. They can always at the end of every week or whatever, however they're driving their invoicing. Uh, if you want to see the date of the task here, we can have uh, something for that. But you would do batch action and invoice. And this here would create the right invoices for set order eight and nine. And it would also work if I go to my tasks, right? And if I see, let's actually go orders to invoice here. You'll see the list is empty. And what I can do is I can actually go to all tasks, see everything, and I can go through and click, right? I say I want to sell order seven, sell order five, and sell order three. That's what I want to invoice today and save it. And now you go back here, accounting immediately sees those three items on the list. And they can go in, select all, action, and invoice the order. And I believe this is what you define to me as, as your dream solution. Um, and as you can see here, you know, it's, it's pretty simplified and it, it's as close to, to the idea of the dream as, uh, as I could get for you. But if there's something, you know, that you want to take a little bit further, um, let me know, you know, we can always, we can always, uh, drill deeper into the particular invoicing aspect of the solution and, uh, and walk through those details, but you'll see everything here, the PO number on the invoice customer. When I validate this, see it'll line up. And if I go validate the one we just did here, or actually I believe it is right here. If I validate, and if we go through here and validate this last one, it posts all those journal entries. So this is where the accounting then comes into play. And I believe it was the Philip Zillig. So if I go to my uh, accounting app and I want to look at my aged receivable, I will see that here and I'll see that nothing is due and I'll see it all per my customer. Oops, John Doe, Philip. And if I drill into any of these, you'll see here all the details behind. I'll see the due date. Let me go into my invoices. I believe that this one is number nine is the net 30, right? If I go and validate that, 
I'll see um, the payment, the due date for that is 522, 30 days out. So you'll see how that automation occurs as well. Um, so if you have any additional questions on how this works or you want me to drill deeper into any particular aspect of the solution presented here, uh, feel free to write me or feel free to give me a call and I'll be happy to you know, reconnect with you and go deeper. Thanks so much for listening and uh, looking forward to your questions.